All right, guys, I got something a little special for you today. We're going to be tearing down a seven and a half ton Copeland semi hermetic compressor. Big shout out to Mr. John McMasters for donating this compressor to me. Now, this compressor apparently wasn't pumping and it was shaking really, really bad. I have an idea what the problem was, but I figure what the hell. Let's tear it down and see what's going on inside, all right? Let's get to work. All right, guys, let's get started. First thing I want to do is I want to take off this electrical box and see what's in there. Now to some degree, this compressor has already been dismantled when they replaced it. They also took it apart to see what was wrong with it. I believe they did try to make some repairs to it. I believe the, the valve plate was replaced, but beyond that, I really don't know. All right, well, let's disconnect our motor windings here. There's our terminal block. Interesting. Man, that is a big old chunk of steel right there, bud. Now, if you're doing this in the field, obviously make sure you mark your wires. This compressor will never run again. Not on my watch anyway. I'm not going to take it back for a core charge. I'm going to put it on my desk as a paperweight. Oh, right there. This must be our thermal limit. Says right here, do not remove. So you guys better not tell anybody I removed this. But let's just keep that out of there. Next, let's take off this valve plate. Terrible. Not broken, not cracked or anything like that. If you look right down in there, you can see the, some part of the piston anyway. It looks like the wrist pin maybe is still connected down there. get this valve plate apart here. Oil doesn't look good. Looks like it's overheated a little bit. A little bit of residue, metal shavings. Obviously, from when that piston broke down on us. All right, let's take off this pump assembly. Hmm. Interesting little pump assembly here. Let's take that apart. 
I hear something sloshing around in there. Now I gotta know what the inside of that looks like. Interesting. Almost like a, uh, I don't want to say a rotary pump, but as this star sprocket here spins around, it looks like it just pushes oil down through these little holes right down there, right down there. Sure is a fancy little design. Surprised how easily this thing comes apart. All right, let's put this guy back on there. Let's, let's set him aside for a little while. Gentle little tap. There. Bearing looks looks pretty good. Not terrible. Yeah, so we got just the one moving. Now, when you have just one piston left inside one of these things, it's gonna shake around because it's out of balance, obviously. Here we got our ginormous windings and a bolt that connects our crankshaft. All right, good old M18 Milwaukee got her. All right, guys, well, I'm going to start the process of flipping this thing over so we can take the bottom off, all right? Yeah, she broke. All right, here's a, uh, looks to be a strainer of some sort. Not real sure what this connects to. Probably, if I had to guess, the oil return. Let's see what else we can dig out of here. There's a shattered piston right there. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say this thing had some floodback issues. And that is what exploded the pistons. Look at that. All sorts of little chunks and bits down inside here. Come 
must be the wrist pin or some part of the bottom of the piston. Well, let's see if we can't get these pistons off here. Let's rotate this guy back around. Looks like we're stuck on some broken piston stuff. Some more chunks of pistons. I don't have the right the right tool for that. Well, I tried everything I know. Doesn't appear that crankshaft is moving at all. We're getting there. Well, she's moving, not very fast. She went. Hey, look at that. Our compressor just gave birth to a crankshaft. And right over here, we got this giant ass stator. That is a chunk of steel, man. that thing. Holy crap. This thing alone must weigh 25 pounds.
just going to pull our piston rings off here so I can see if I can get this piston out. There is our one and only good piston. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself. All right, well, there we have it. That's all of it, guys. Well, guys, I hope that was fun for you because it was fun for me. So now, next time you work on one of these, you'll have a maybe a little bit better understanding of how they come apart, what they're made out of, and things that can possibly go wrong with them. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.